Good morning from the Stitch and Post. It's a fine September morning. Can't believe it's September already. And we have a wonderful new art exhibit in the Stitch and Post on our gallery wall from a local textile artist, Judy Beaver. And I'm gonna read to you her artist statement here so you can stare at these pretties. Inspiration for my work often begins with a special piece of fabric. Using dyes to print my own fabrics has given me greater creative freedom, allowing me to control the color palette as well as develop unique design elements. The first two pieces in this series are made from commercial fabrics as well as my own. The last seven pieces are exclusively made from fabrics I've printed, utilizing a variety of methods, including soy wax resist, silk screening, mono printing, and stenciling. I often use hand stitching as an embellishment to accent and further define various elements of composition. I enjoy the sensuous nature of quilting, especially the touch and feel of the cloth. I tend to work intuitively, allowing the piece to transform as it progresses. I love all the possibilities, the construction techniques, color and texture choices, in combination of hand and machine work. My joy comes from the doing of art. All right, now we're gonna look at these beautiful pieces. These are pretty intense, like uh, not to mention the color, but also all of the elements that are going on within this. I love, I love, love, love all of this dyeing technique. It's just stunning. And then there's some hand stitching going on in there also. Oh, Judy outdid herself. I think she worked pretty darn hard on this series. They're nice size pieces. I'm trying to get back a little. There we go. I'm always manipulating myself around displays. Look at that graphic black and white and gray. Oh. So good, Judy, so good. We had a great opening last weekend and people came and saw all Judy here and all her beautiful work. Um, I didn't get a chance to come back here, so it's nice now I get the, like my private time in here with this beautiful artwork. Really, really stunning. This is fascinating with that piece going directly across. And then there's some more of the hand stitching. Oh, so expired. All right, we have two more pieces. This one has a lot more piecing in it too, which is fascinating, but yet it's like this monochromatic piecing. It's really beautiful. And the last piece, which of course um, I am drawn to because, oh, hello, it's indigo. And then she has all this red stitching on it. Oh, I had to get far enough back. There it is. Now I'm gonna go up close because, oh, wow. The movement in here. Yeah. This one's called Night Winds. This one next to us, I'm gonna work my way back down and tell you the titles. It's called Pandemic Mindset. This really awesome gray and black and green and red is called Under the Big Top. Revelry. I love the colors in this one. Wandering in the Gardens. Sushi night. <laughs> I love that. Maybe it's not that awesome. <laughs> New Year's Eve. I can feel that. This is called Jewels in the Haystack. And finally, Dreaming in Technicolor. All right, you guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks to Judy Beaver for this amazing collection of work. 
If you happen to be in Sisters for the month of September, pop on by and see it. All right, take care, stay safe.